I know you've seen this before. The key to burning fat and adding muscle for a guy is his metabolism. From a 6XL, I can now say that I'm in a large. A fast metabolism will give him more energy. It'll help control cravings and hunger and ultimately make fat burning a lot easier. And yeah, that's all good and well, right? There's a lot of good things that he said in there, but also there's a lot of things that he missed out on. And it seems like everyone all over the fitness industry has all these points to lose weight, to put on muscle, to do these things that you want to accomplish, but yet they're missing a key factor that really is the reason that you're going to accomplish those goals. In this video, we are going to touch on that exact reason and how you can get to your goals without figuring out as wishy-washy ads and let, let's just dive in. Before I let you know the key factor to getting to your goals of losing weight, putting on muscle, or really just feeling better, I'm first gonna give you the action steps that you need to take in order to achieve this key factor. And it all starts outside. The first action step that you're gonna need to take is watching the sun. Not only watching the sun directly, but watching it set and watching it rise. See, what this is gonna do is it's gonna ensure that it sets your circadian rhythm, that you get good quality sleep. Because what our circadian rhythm is, it's our biological clock that clicks in our head that makes sure that we get tired when it turns nighttime and we wake up and are energized when it's morning time. This is going to set everything that you need in order to get to where you want to go. Next has to do with this device. Yes, your cell phone. See, what your cell phone does is it produces what's known as EMFs. It's electromagnetic frequencies. What these do is they radiate just like a microwave, right? Everything has actual wavelengths. These wavelengths will actually radiate into your body and into your cells. So one thing that you're gonna wanna do is instead of putting this in your front pocket, instead opt for putting it in your back pocket. Now, this might be obvious, but the gym is where you need to be. Okay, if you want to put on muscle and you want to lose weight, I think everyone knows that, yeah, you're going to have to go work out at a gym. And if you haven't caught on yet, we're talking about testosterone here. And so there's a lot of different ways to increase your testosterone, obviously, but in the gym specifically, the way that you increase it is by doing heavy lifts, but also in a way in which you're doing compound lifts, compound exercises, things like bench press, squat, deadlift. These are great exercises that are going to ensure that you're increasing your testosterone. Whereas lifts like curls, anything that are isolated movements, those aren't gonna be near as beneficial. And so yes, it might be obvious that being in the gym will increase your testosterone, but you'll be surprised because the last thing isn't gonna be near as obvious. All right, next thing you wanna avoid is the fact that your clothes are going to affect your hormone levels. Yes, they actually are. Think about it. If you're wearing tight underwear, it's going to squeeze your gonads, right? Your gonads are what produces that hormone that is testosterone. That actually is gonna get you to your goal of putting on muscle and losing weight. So we want to loosen that. We don't want to be squeezed and tight because it's going to decrease that circulation of those hormones because that's where they are produced. And so you are going to need to decrease that by first having 100% cotton, wearing clothes that are 100% cotton, loose and free, so everything can flow the way it needs to. I'm telling you, it's gonna work for you. Next thing keeping you from your goals, is gonna be this stuff. While alcohol and vapes and smoking and all that sort of stuff, you probably don't do often, it doesn't matter. Because see, these things are so toxic they actually block your ability to break down nutrients that your body needs. So when you eat a steak, it's not being absorbed quite as frequently and as thoroughly as if you didn't have alcohol, smoking, or anything like that. So you want to ensure that you're keeping that out at all costs. Yes, by all means, like once a month, maybe, okay whatever, live your life. But if you want to optimize yourself and your hormones, you gotta take those out. The next is gonna be a cold shower. And I do this every single morning to make sure that I start my days right. And by all means, when I say right, that doesn't mean well. It doesn't mean I'm happy to go in the shower and take a cold one. It's probably one of the hardest parts of my day, which is the exact reason why it's going to increase your testosterone. Because you're actually gonna be challenging yourself. What you want to do is push your body. Not push it to the max to where you're actually gonna be harming yourself, but instead push it in a way in which you're challenging yourself. You're building challenges. You're making sure that you're gonna overcome problems and overcome objectives so you can get stronger and better. This does increase your testosterone. This is what it is to be a man. Having challenges in front of you and overcoming those challenges to be better yourself. So we went over circadian rhythm, electronics, and working out. But this one right here is probably gonna change your mind. Tap water. See, tap water is one of the worst things that you can put in your body. You're probably drinking out of this a lot of times, right? Most of the time, we drink water, we come right here to the tap. What this actually has is estrogenic effects. What happens is female hormones get excreted into 
the circulation of our water because our water is not cleaned the right way. Yes, it is clean and there's a lot of things that are cleaned out and technically it is safe to drink, but what you're getting are these small micro hormones that get into your bloodstream, get into your body and destroy your testosterone. Not only that, you also have fluoride. Fluoride is pumped into these waters to clean them out, to filter them out, but this fluoride actually harms your body and harms your ability to produce those hormones that you need. So. What can you do? Go for waters like this. Mountain Valley is a great brand that you can get glass bottles so you don't have microplastics getting into your system and ensuring that you get clean water allowing you to thrive instead of just survive and get through the day on tap. But we've talked a lot about how to increase your testosterone, the methods that I have. And all of these are, of course, very natural and you can do it in your everyday lives. If you want to touch on someone who probably doesn't have the best natural methods, go ahead and click this video right here.